Guys, welcome back to another video. Now, today we're going to be showing you this. Well, he's a little tall. So this is a thing I've called Commander Smog. Now you may also see the reflection. However, you're not going to make out what my face is because I will not be showing that. Anyway, this is a character I've called Commander Smog. Now, he is probably one of my most detailed creations. I'll show you. See, if we just look here, it's like the head. Oh, oh that wasn't supposed to happen. As we can see, we look at the head. We can take out the cape so you guys can see what it looks like without the cape. So that's the head. The head's a little simple, a um, little simple build. This comes off. This comes off uh, easily, but it's detail. So you got the horns right here. That was my first time showcasing it, but we. Uh, my desk is a little cluttered with Lego pieces. So, yeah. So, you can see what it looks like without the cape now. It's going to be a short video, but it'll see. It's still cool. Yeah, we got this pristine. Yeah, the shoulders. This shoulder's a bit higher because with the cape on, this, this shoulder is supposed to show when the cape is on. Um, This is the back. It's actually pretty de decently detailed on the back. Uh, also, I have taken the hands from... I also had to take the hands from my venomized Groot. As you can see right here, I had to take the hands from venomized Groot for good hands. Yeah, but he's a, this is a tall uh, figure that I have. I can compare him to scale. Uh, Now, another scale is, uh, I'm not even close to scale, hold up, hold up. Another thing I can scale this with is my Watcher Sentinel, which is what I've called. Um, if you guys want to build a tutorial on how to make something like this, then you can just put in the comments. Yeah, so this is another thing. It's bent down, but it's tall, as tall as the thing when it's bent down. So you can see, it's tall. This one's tall, but we're, this is not the main. That's not the main focus, because yeah, because this guy's our main focus. With he is our main focus today. Now, the thing about this build, right? Is, let me just take off. So this is the arm. Uh, arm has a blade on it, like a predator type blade. Uh, you gotta take comes off easily this is what it's made out of so now i'm recording this on a phone so it's not going to be as good it's not going to be good quality but should be decent enough to showcase so this is the, the blade this one's kind of spinny but that was the only way to get it on uh, of course now this shoulder pad is comprised of a lot of pieces yeah this arm will sometimes fall apart, which, um, then we got its second arm. Now, the second arm is as less detailed and has nothing going on for it, just that it's an arm, but it's still fairly detailed. The, the shoulder's a bit smaller, like I said, as you may see, size difference between the shoulder, the, the size difference between the shoulder, right, which is, and then we have our body showed the head. This is the head. Um, here is the torso. Now, these are the legs. I built the legs, like, a year ago, and then I left them in a bin and forgot about them. Now, this is the torso with this using one of these really cool pieces. Uh, one of these really cool parts. Looks like that. It's a really good piece, uh, especially for this, because, like, it kind of just looks really good with that. On uh, the back has the arms, stuff like that. Um, the legs are, of course, like this. Now, each leg is the same, using a bionicle part, using this bionicle part right here. Um, we have that, also some like, these pieces to make it look a bit more detailed. Um, anyway, let's just put them back together before we move on. Now, the thing about this is that it, 
I have remodeled this countless times in the past few days because it just looks... I like the cape on it, but I think it honestly looks good even with or, with or without the cape. Uh, problem with the bionicle legs is that they'll bend, but the, the feet were the hardest because they kept falling over. Bent it at an angle. Now, the, the torso is bent at an angle. It's always going to be bent at an angle, as you may see. But another size comparison is Z-Blob from the LEGO Dreams set line. Which is smaller. Um, I think Z Blob would die, most definitely. Uh, because, yeah. Yeah, but honestly, this is a, it's a big, it's a big figure. It's a big figure um, for size scale. It's small. It's very small, and uh, I don't think. I will give a build tutorial on this. I might give, like, build tutorials for the parts. But, like, like the l arm, for example. I'll give a... See, what you can just do, what I made for the arm, right, is just using these pieces. Using these pieces right here. So, then you put the hand in there using the ball joint. Ball joints are important, people. Ball joints are very important. Then this, of course, uses a ball joint, but it also uses this at an angle at this side. Overall, this mech is pretty darn cool, and if you want me to show you guys how to build one, please hit that like and subscribe button, and put it down in the comments below for what I should do with this mech. I might make a stop motion. Who knows what I'll do with it, but I don't know. That is a now. Now, this mech was kind of pain to to get because well for one like i said the mod the arm breaks like this arm will break easily um depending on the pieces you're depending on how good the pieces you are using are uh head's kind of fragile just depends yet again on if the piece is worn down but if you want me to show you guys what that uh what it a little build tutorial on how to make either the head, like, any, any part of it, like, the legs. I will gladly do that. Uh, um, the cape. The cloth is, uh, I think from... <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, this was probably accidental, alright? The cloth. So, the cloth, I found it under my desk. Now, the thing with the cloth is I'm pretty sure it's from the bag that holds the mouse. Oh god. Like, I think I may have messed up with that, but... I could have just cut out a cleaner cape and made it look less battle-damaged than it should be. But a battle-damaged cape looks a lot better with this figure. Because, for one... My lore, I will be writing some lore. I will be writing lore, and I will be putting it out. I will be putting out the lore, because I love lore. I love making some lore for these things. Um, but that's what... And the reason the cape is battle torn is because it's a, a commander for an Automatron Empire. The commander of an Automatron army. Pretty good lore. And, uh... That's it, everyone. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And comment for a build tutorial. I will see you guys in the next video.